Welcome back. So I kind of want to get rid of this dummy component and I also want to get rid of this route setup right here and I can actually get rid of both by spying on my routing. So what we're going to do is we're going to change a method down here. If we scroll down, I have a small add method right here. So before we click, our location should be the root of our current, which is products right now. That's where we should be. And then I have another test right here that says when I click the add button, I should actually go to a new route called slash add. Now we're going to test if that is actually the case. And instead of using location, I'm going to try and do something new. I'm going to try and spy on the router and listen if we are actually calling navigate by URL. Let me try and show you why that should happen. If we jump into the HTML right here, when I click the add button, what should actually happen is I should use the router link to actually go to the slash add, right? And that's uh, the kind of the point that I want to test right here. And the way I can do it is pretty simple. I can go in and I can actually start out by getting a router right here. So I'll just call this the router. And I can get that by calling testbed.get. And then I can put in just router like this. And then I can actually go and grab the actual router. Whoops, not from Express. That's very important. Of course, I'm importing this from Angular Router, okay? Now, if you go to the top right here, the reason that I can get that router is because I have the router testing module. So it's automatically imported in that module. Good. So now we have the router, and now I can actually start spying on the router. And I just have to pass in the router, a comma, and then the thing I want to kind of spy on. What method do you want to spy on? And in our case, I know that when I'm clicking this router link, What's going to happen is I'm going to call a specific method in the router called navigate by URL. So let me try and find that for you. Navigate by by URL. There it is. So I'm going to call this specific method right here. So that's the one I want to spy on. So my expectation is that when I click this button inside my test, I'm going to hit this navigate by URL and I can even be more precise. I'm going to hit it with something that specifies that we need to go to this specific URL. How do we do that? Well, first of all, notice right here, this is how we click right now in the old code. Let's get rid of that because of course, I've decided that I wanna make it easier. So I have inside, let's get rid of the location, inside my helper, my DOM helper, I've actually went in and made a small click button thingy. And that guy, we can actually just add the text we're looking for. In my case, it's the plus text, right? So it's this small plus sign right here. And when I call this method right here, that's all I have to do to click. So let's get rid of all this noise. Uh, Gajumi, it's gone. And now the click event is actually being triggered. Now the next thing I need to do is what do I expect? Now I expect that my router dot navigate by URL, navi, navigate by URL has been called, right? Now I expect that guy has been called and I actually can say that I expect this has been called with a specific parameter. So I can say have been called with, there we go. So I expect that this method right here has been called with something very specific. Now here it gets a bit funky, but you'll just have to live with it. Let's just get rid of this. We're not going to use that anymore. And also this. So what do we expect that this navigate by URL has been called with? And again, you just have to live with this, the, the way we call this right now. But step one is that we expect that this is called with a router dot create URL tree. Like this, that's actually a method on the router. And I expect that guy to be called with just slash add right here, because that's what we're trying to go to. So slash add, that's what we expect. But that's not enough. Let's try and save this just so you guys can see the error we're getting. I'll save this and let's jump over and you'll notice I'm getting an error that we expected that this was called with not only the slash add like we get, but also with some kind of object that says skip location change and replace URL. So this is kind of something we need to add as well. So let's try and jump back to our code. Right here, I'll do a comma and I'll just paste this in here as the final parameter. And let's just try and go back. And hopefully now we are ready. There we go. So what do we actually obtain by doing this? Well, with this new way that I'm listening on the router and just spying like this, if I go back to the top right here, I can actually now get rid of this with route setup in my testing module. I don't need that anymore. And that means now I can actually get rid of this 
dummy component that I used down here. And again, I just simplified my code even more. And I don't even need to declare this component anymore. So notice I just got rid of a lot of noise. And instead, what I'm doing is now I'm actually just mocking and spying on a very simple function right here for the router. And you can do that for anything. So that was just to show you guys how easy it is to start spying. Now to have been called with was well, a bit more, a bit more complex than what we used to. But don't worry, we'll get back and show you more methods like this. And then um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. And again, everything is running again. So let's just wrap it up right here. And now we just again made our code even easier. And we just now spy on a router to figure out if we're going to the right route when we're clicking a button. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.